Hey guys, welcome to the first video on NumPy tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about NumPy. So first of all, what is NumPy? So NumPy is the fundamental package needed for scientific computing with Python. It is an open source library which contains a powerful n-dimensional array object which we will see in the later videos. And it also contains basic linear algebra functions, basic Fourier transform functions, sophisticated random number capabilities. And also this library contains tools for integrating with the languages like C and C++ code. Now this library also contains advanced array slicing methods to select array elements. And it also have several convenient array reshaping methods. So in other words, we can say that NumPy is a Python library for array oriented computing. Besides its obvious scientific uses, NumPy can also be used as an efficient multidimensional container for generic data. Now, as I said, NumPy has a powerful n-dimensional array object. This object is an n-dimensional array of homogeneous data types with many operations being performed in compiled code for performance. So this library gives better performance when you use it with array-oriented computing. Now there are several important differences between NumPy arrays and the Python standard sequences like lists or tuples, which we are going to see in the next video. Also, NumPy arrays have a fixed size. Modifying the size means creating a new array in NumPy. Additionally, NumPy arrays must be of the same data type, but this can include Python object also. Now, the next question you may ask is, NumPy is suited for what kind of applications? So NumPy can be used for many applications, including image processing, signal processing, linear algebra, and multiple other functionality is included in NumPy. So it can be used for several other functionalities. So it is also said that NumPy is the foundation of the Python scientific stake. Now you may also ask, why do we need NumPy? So we already have sequences in Python such as lists or tuples or many other sequences to handle data with the standard Python library. So why do we actually need NumPy? So the answer is Python does numerical computation slowly in comparison to NumPy. So whenever you want to do matrix computation for example, you have a matrix of 1000 cross 1000 and you want to multiply this matrix, then Python triple loop takes more than 10 minutes in comparison to NumPy, which only takes around 0.3 seconds. So whenever you want to do matrix computation or n-dimensional array computation, NumPy library is more efficient than even the Python standard library. And that's why it is used. So this was a brief introduction about NumPy. Now, how can we install NumPy on our Windows operating system or Mac operating system or Linux operating system? So right now I'm working on a Windows operating system but the procedure for installing NumPy will be the same for Mac or Linux operating system. So the basic thing which you need to install NumPy library is pip. So if you have pip, then you will be able to easily install NumPy. Now on Windows, whenever you have installed Python on your Windows operating system, PIP was already installed on your Windows operating system with the installation of Python. On other operating systems like Mac and Linux, you can install PIP and then install NumPy using PIP. Now, those of you who don't know what is PIP, 
PIP is a package management system which is used to install and manage software packages written in Python. So let's install NumPy using PIP. So I'm going to give this command PIP and then install and then whatever package you want to install. So for example, I want to install NumPy. So I will write NumPy here. So pip install NumPy and then press enter, which is going to install NumPy on my Windows operating system. So now you can see the process of installing of NumPy library is started by pip. So you can see now NumPy is installed on my Windows operating system. So now I can uh, just go into the Python interpreter. So I will uh, just write Python and then press enter, which will allow me to use the NumPy library. So I'm going to just write import NumPy as NP and then press enter, which is going to give me no error. If you give this command on your Python interpreter without installing NumPy, this import is going to give you some kind of error. Now let me give you a very basic example of converting a normal list into a NumPy array. So let me just uh, create a normal list. I'm going to name it as N list which stands for normal list and then I'm going to assign some value to this list. So let's add some values here. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So there are 6 elements inside our list and then I'm going to press enter. Now in order to convert this list into the NumPy array, I'm going to just create one more variable. I'm going to say it is a NP array and then I'm going to convert this list into an array. So I'm going to use this NP keyword dot array and then as an argument I'm going to pass my list into this array function. So N list is the name of the list and then press enter. And now when I see the content of an array, it's going to give me the NumPy array. Now I can also use print method in order to print the content of NP array. So let's do that. And you can see it's going to print the content of NumPy array. Now one thing to notice here is that these elements inside this array does not contain comma between these elements because it's a special array which is called nd array and numpy's main object is the homogeneous multi-dimensional array called nd array and this is that kind of array so this was the very basic example of numpy now if you have installed anaconda package on your Windows operating system or Mac operating system or Linux operating system, you don't need pip to install NumPy. You can directly import NumPy inside your Jupyter Notebook or Spider IDE and start using it. Now, if you want to use NumPy on PyCharm, let me show you how to use NumPy on your PyCharm IDE. So this is the PyCharm IDE and here I have created a blank project which is called NumPy samples. Now in order to add NumPy to your project, what you need to do is you need to just click on this file option on your PyCharm IDE and then you just need to go to the settings and once the settings window opens, what you need to do is you need to go to the project colon whatever is the name of your project. So go under project and whatever is the name of your project and then click on project interpreter. So I have already clicked on this project interpreter and here you can uh, see pip is there and setup tools is there. So here on the right hand side you will see this plus symbol so you just need to click on this plus symbol and once you click on this plus symbol 
just search for numpy here so i'm going to search for numpy and then you will be able to see this numpy here and the version which will be installed on your pycharm ide so on the right hand side you will see the description about numpy and whatever version which will be installed so at the time of making this video 1.16.0 will be available for pycharm so i'm going to just click on install package which is going to install the numpy package for this project on your pycharm ide and once you see this green bar here which says package numpy installed successfully you can close this window and then click ok here and now you can uh, create a python file so let me create a very simple python uh, file and inside this python file what i'm going to do is i'm going to just write import numpy as np and then let's create a list so i'm going to name my list as l is equal to let's add just uh, two elements one comma two here and then in order to convert this list into a numpy list we just need to use np dot array and then pass our list to this array function and then you will be able to print the content of np array using the print function so i'm going to just write np list inside the print function and let's run this uh, script by just right clicking and just selecting the run whatever file name you have and you will be able to see the output here in the terminal below so this is how you can install numpy on your pycharm ide so you can use pycharm ide or anaconda distribution or even you can use your plain terminal in order to develop your numpy script in the next video we will see some more functionalities about numpy array so stay tuned and i will see you in the next video